I've been a musician pretty much my entire adult life, since I was a teenager. Played drums in Collisionville. I played bass and sang sometimes in Replicator. Lockstep was my political band right out of high school. We had a message. Sunflower Conspiracy was my 90s shoegaze band and I just designed that. I didn't even know what that schematic was when I designed that shirt. And then later I went back and found out that I think it's a univibe. Creating is, is fun, but I realize, you know, the gear is just as much fun and but tickles a different part of my brain than the music creation part. When I was getting ready to move to Los Angeles, I looked and I saw this job at Line 6 and it was like, you know, should have recording engineer skills, know how pedals and amps work and be able to repair. You should know like the history of music gear. And it was like everything I'd been doing with my life for the 20 years before, just for fun. And now it kind of became my career and it's been great ever since. Before I worked for Line 6, I owned plenty of Line 6 products. I had the DL4 since 1999. I had two different pods and then the M-series effects. So I was always deep into Line 6. And when I went to work there, I was surprised at how human of a company it was. You know, I figured there's computer scientists there and there's programmers, but you know, it's also a lot of super guitar nerds who are passionate about gear. So day to day, I'm, you know, I'm digging into audio equipment, looking at pedals, I'm modeling amplifiers, but I'm also overseeing a couple other members of my team and making sure that the whole department isn't being overworked, that everyone has something to do, that no one is getting stuck. Hi, this is Sam, one of the sound designers here at YGG. I was a guitar repair technician, luthier, stage tech. I was basically just a general repair guy for musical equipment, working out of a shop called Grayson's Toontown in Montrose, California. And that's when I met Ben Adrian. I went in there and he always seemed to know the answers to things that we were talking about. So I started kind of quizzing him. I would go in there and be like, oh, so you're working on this amp. He would ask me questions like, oh, did you check this? You know, was it this register? Or like, have you checked these caps? And you know, we always have good dialogue. And sometimes I would make a really one-off type of repair for him or customization. And we had a lot of fun. What ended up happening is we had about a year-long job interview. I came and visited the office here at Calabasas and immediately just everything clicked because that's exactly what I've wanted to do my entire life since I was a kid. I'm more of an amp person, but he's more of a guitar person. He can do acoustic guitar repair. He could build acoustic and electric guitars. It's like everything he gets into, he learns how to take it apart and rebuild it. I really love uh, tinkering with stuff. I do have a very wide selection of tools and a lot of times a lot of my tools are homemade where either they're modified from broken things or just modified from tools I had on hand. He's pretty hands-on when it comes to everything like tuner cars. He had a tuner car phase. Sam spent time playing the Super Smash Brothers video game and used to compete in tournaments. Ah, Super Smash Brothers, a game that I really enjoy especially because of the expressive and kind of more unique play style of the game. Eventually I got into modding my own controllers, finding old CRT televisions which are just like analog amplifiers. During lunch times we would have a couple co-workers just come to my office and we would play for our lunch breaks and just have a good time. It was just kind of part of the culture that we have here. Ryan was actually kind of found by my wife. Her friend's husband was a guitar pedal nerd like I was. Before I came to the Yamaha Guitar Group, I was primarily a bass player, traveling with bands and driving around the country. Touring was always a, a huge passion. All the venues, all the dinners, all the towns and cities, and getting to experience that with close friends and fellow musicians, is, um, there's nothing like that. During that time, I got involved in audio electronics. I used to work at Vintage Gear Hollywood. Had a little repair bench in the back, and they would come in and say, this is the best sounding tone bender that we've ever had, you know. Here's our best sounding fuzz face. And I'd get to look inside there and uh, take measurements and build later. He was a studio tech for many years. He's built compressors. He's built analog bass preamps. And then he's also been mastering the pedal steel, which is a crazy instrument. And he's very diligent about it. My father was a bass player and was also an Ampeg dealer at a music store in Pendleton, Oregon. I think the repair department was, was the coolest thing. Going in the back and seeing the guys trying to fix stuff and seeing all the test gear and 
Seeing that also evolve into computer test gear later on, and the mom and pop Main Street music store, which has um, become rare in today's culture. So he kind of grew up, like just kind of steeping in 70s guitar gear. And, and anytime we want something that has like a good, truly vintage feel, I think Ryan's the guy for it. So the pandemic hit, as we know, and then everyone was working from home. Because of that, they started doing a whole lot of renovations to the building where we work. So we've had very limited access in the last year. But in that time period, the company has been super supportive. We've been able to take most of our test equipment home, been allowed time to convert, like this is an old shed of mine that I turned into a nice recording space. I get to see my cats and my dog every time I have to get up and get a glass of water or use the bathroom. I make myself coffee, like I can make myself a cappuccino every day on my coffee machine here. And so I feel that I've adapted pretty well to home and I've spread out here and I'm really comfortable. While it's been a challenge to be away from my coworkers and I can't just go and knock on the, their door and be like, hey, how's this project coming? Because it's a very collaborative team. We've been able to work at pretty much the same level and get just as much done as if we were in the building.